a new device. He was fascinated by the work of Edward Mybridge, a British photographer who studied animals in motion. Edison began work on a new invention that would do for the eye what the phonograph did for the ear. The Edison team came up with a cylinder resembling the phonograph. By rotating the cylinder, a series of tiny photographs gave the appearance of motion. The device called a spiral kinetograph also included a primitive sound track. Edison continued to improve the motion picture camera. Much of the work was done by his assistant, W.K.L. Dixon, senior playing the violin. There's still a question about whether Edison receives too much credit. But Thomas Edison's name is on the patent, and his fingerprints are all over the process of invention. You have to get the photography and the film and the optics to work out. But you also have to move that film, whether it be in the camera or it be in the projector, along in a regulated fashion. And if you look closely at all of the early documents, the key sketches and documents are all in Edison's hand, and he's the one who has the expertise to do the electromechanical stuff. Edison manufactured coin-operated kinetoscopes and also wanted to own the films themselves. So in 1893, he built the first movie studio on the grounds of his West Orange laboratory. The building revolved to follow the sun. We dubbed it the Black Maria because it was covered with black paper inside and out. Early subjects were simple to say the least. A man sneezing, a woman dancing, a couple kissing. Gentleman Jim Corbett was paid $50 to box in the Black Mariah. Two cats also boxed, presumably for free. It's not clear whether there were complaints about violence in the movies. Throughout the country, people eagerly paid a nickel to watch a few seconds of motion. But the public soon demanded longer movies, movies with storylines that could be viewed in a theater. In 1903, Edison produced The Great Train Robbery, a classic western about the battle between good and evil, and he built a $100,000 studio in the Bronx. But Thomas Edison was eventually overtaken by D.W. Griffith and other pioneers of the film industry. Edison was a real hardware inventor, that is to say he built the machines, and he wasn't as good about the software. What kind of movies are you going to show? What kind of music are you going to play on the phonograph? 